Hello there, welcome to my channel. In this video, we're gonna be solving a system of equations involving logarithm, where we are given that log x with base y plus log y with base x equals five halves, and x times y equals 27. So obviously, we should solve for x and y values, but before we do that, hit the subscribe button and ring the notification bell. So first of all, let's go ahead and start with the first equation and try to find a way to find a relation between x and y. To do that, we need to use the substitution method. So let's go ahead and say that u equals log x with base y. Next, let's go ahead and apply the change of base formula on the right-hand side. So we're going to have u equals log x divided by log y. Next, let's go ahead and flip both sides to get 1 over u equals log y divided by log x. And then if you apply the change of base formula backwards, we're going to have 1 over u equals log of y with base x. Great. So that means that once we replace this with u, this is going to be 1 over u, which means that we have u plus 1 over u equals 5 halves. Awesome. So let's go ahead and work on this equation and try to solve for u. So we have u plus 1 over u equals 5 halves, and we want to solve for u. To do that, first of all, let's go ahead and multiply everything by 2u to get rid of this u and this 2. So we're going to have 2u squared plus 2 equals 5u. Next, let's go ahead and move this 5u to the left hand side. So we're going to have 2u squared minus 5u plus 2 equals 0. Now at this point, we have several methods in order to solve this for u, but I'm going to use the factoring method, and I'm going to factor the left hand side into 2u minus 1 times u minus 2. And since this is equal to 0, I can go ahead and say that we have two cases, either u equals 1 half or u equals 2. Great, so we have two cases for the value of u. And now let's go ahead and talk about the first one, where u equals 1 half. Notice that u is log x with base y. Therefore, this means that log x with base y equals 1 half. And from the definition of logarithm, I can go ahead and say that x equals y to the power of 1 half. We could also get this by writing y to the power of both sides. So we could have said that y to the power of log x with base y equals y to the power of 1 half. And then we know that whenever this base and this base are equal, the answer is going to be the number on the top. So the left hand side is going to be x, and the right hand side is y to the power of 1 half which is the same thing that we have here. Either way, we have x equals y to the power of 1 half, and that means that x equals the square root of y. Next, let's go ahead and square both sides to get rid of the square root. So we're going to have x squared equals y, and then let's go ahead and multiply both sides by x to get x cubed equals x times y. But notice that x times y is equal to 27. So we know that x times y equals 27. So based on the transitive property, I can go ahead and say that x cubed equals 27, and therefore x equals 3. Now, since x equals 3 and x times y equals 27, we can clearly see that y equals 9. So x equals 3 and y equals 9 is the first solution to our system of equations. Now let's go ahead and talk about the second case where u equals 2. 
So if u equals 2, then that means that log x with base y equals 2. And from this, I can say that y squared equals x. And then by multiplying both sides by y, I'm going to get y cubed equals x times y. But remember that x times y equals 27. Therefore, from both of these, I can say that y cubed equals 27, which means that y equals 3, and that means that x equals 9. So y equals 3 and x equals 9 is the second solution to our system of equations. So we have two solutions, either x equals 3 and y equals 9, or x equals 9 and y equals 3. Awesome. So this brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching this video. Hopefully you enjoyed watching this. If you did, hit the subscribe button and hit the like button. I'll see you later.